And this is an integrated rate law question. We are told that it's first order, but we can confirm that from the units. So when we look at the half-life of the reaction, for a first order reaction, our half-life is equal to ln of 2 divided by k. So it's ln of 2 divided by our given value of k. 9.2 reciprocal seconds, so that's 1 over 1 over seconds. Seconds comes up into the numerator, and our value would be 0 0.07534 seconds. In terms of sig figs, we're dealing with 2, so that's 0 0.075 seconds. The second question, uh, how long does it take for the concentration to reach one quarter of its initial value? There's two ways we can solve this. Um, number one, we can recognize that for a first order reaction, our half-life is constant and one quarter of the initial value would indicate two half-lives have evolved. So we can figure out our, um, now that we have our half-life, we can take one quarter original concentration indicates two half-lives. So we have two times 0 0.0 seven five three four seconds we don't want to um, lose sig figs but we'd end up with 0 0.015 seconds okay another way to solve this is to use the integrated first order rate law a of t to a zero is equal to minus k t Okay, so for one quarter of the initial value, we'd have A of T is going to be equal to A0 over 4. So if we were to look at the fraction of AT T to A0, AT is A0 over 4, and if we multiply, or excuse me, divide that by A0, we see our units cancel out, and this is equivalent to one quarter, one quarter or 0.25. So we can substitute in and solve for t. ln of 0 0.25 is equal to minus kt. t is equal to ln of 0 0.25 divided by minus k. Oops, seconds comes off the top. And we get 0 0.1507 seconds. The same answer within sig figs, which is entirely appropriate.